If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you've had a lovely week. Today's episode was partially inspired by the Clandom's Warrior of the Week, Lion Blaze. Thinking about Lion Blaze got me wanting to draw a bunch of different characters related to Tiger Star, and I ended up doing a whole bunch of Tiger Star's family. So today I'm going to tweak some of my old designs, explain my thoughts on each design and how I carried over family traits, and all that good stuff. Let's get started. Starting with the big baddie himself, let's talk about the OG Tiger Star. As you can see, I pulled up a lot of my designs for Tiger Star's family and old art of Tiger Star himself to use as reference. I liked the general idea of my old Tiger Star design, but I wanted to push it further with my shapes and make him more intimidating. Considering how prominent Tiger Star's bloodline is in the series, it feels important to me to give his bloodline a signature look. For the Tiger Star clones, the biggest tell of their relation to Tiger Star is their thick mane of fur, as well as a few signature tabby markings that I like to add. Every Tiger Star clone is pretty much described as a thick shouldered brown tabby, but there's a lot of brown tabbies in wires, so I think it's important to make Tiger Star's bloodline stand out. Tiger Star has small, narrow eyes a thick, elegant mane of fur, and then very smooth and powerful looking shoulders and a wide muzzle to look more like his namesake. At first when I finished this drawing, I was happy with Tiger Star's mane, but after a few days to think about it, I came back to the drawing and decided to try softening the shape of it just a bit to make it a bit more natural looking. This round shape also helps Tiger Star look a little bit closer to Bramble Star out of all his clones, which I think is an important detail to carry over from the books. Next, I decided to draw Golden Flower, mostly because I've never done a design for her, and I wanted to try and link Tawny Pelt and Bramble Star's designs back to her. I always figured I'd give Golden Flower a lot of Tawny Pelt's look. Large ears, defined cheekbones, and a similar muzzle shape. But Golden Flower also has long, curly fur and large, expressive eyes. Even though Tawny Pelt shares her mother's eye color, Tawny Pelt actually has Tiger Star's eye shape, slim and narrow, and Bramble Star inherited Golden Flower's wide eyes. And same with Tiger Star, I finished Golden Flower's design, but then a few days later I came back to it and added a bit more curl to her fur. Next up, Bramble Star. As a warning, this drawing has some slight spoilers for Lost Stars. You can skip to the timestamp below to avoid spoilers. I didn't really have anything I wanted to change about Bramble Stars design, so instead I just wanted to do some Lost Stars fan art. <laughs> this is Bramble Star looking a little possessed. While I do this drawing, I think it's a good time to explain some of my color choices for each of these characters. So, Tiger Star's color palette has the highest contrast out of all of his lookalikes meaning he has both the lightest and darkest colors in his palette. This helps make Tiger Star's design pop. Bramble Star follows pretty much the same palette, only his dark stripes are slightly lighter and more red in value, and his amber eyes aren't as intense as Tiger Star's. Pretty much everything about Bramble Star's design sort of comes down to like Tiger Star, but not so much. Or in other words, Tiger Star light. <laughs> And Hawk Frost, who I'm actually not drawing today, but here's some older art of him, takes the Tiger Star design and repurposes it to be more suave and pointier. His pelt colors are duller and cooler compared to Bramble Star and Tiger Star. This keeps all three Tiger Star lookalikes distinct design-wise and easy to pick apart from each other while still looking related. After I did my possessed Bramble Star piece, I decided to throw in a little Tawny Pelt side-eyeing her brother for fun. I like the idea of Tawny Pelt's colors coming from both Golden Flower and Tiger Star, so that's why I make Tawny Pelt a brown and golden calico. Alright, next is Tiger Heart Star. Tiger Star 2, the Shadow of Shadow Clan, the husband of Sweet Dovewing. I decided to change up my Tiger Heart Star design a lot after reading Lost Stars. I felt like that book gave me a different insight into his character, and I wanted to find a better way to distinguish him from his other cloned brethren. 
It took a bit of trial and error, but I think I got a better design for him than my previous attempts. The biggest change was making Tiger Heart Star a golden brown tabby rather than sticking to the same dark brown tabby color palette that Bramble Star and Tiger Star have. He still has a heart shaped mane and nose, but he carries over more of Tawny Pelt's face shape and probably generally more of Rowan Star's features than Tiger Star's, only keeping some of the signature looks from the bloodline. And now Lion Blaze the unofficial adopted son into the Tiger Star Club. Lion Blaze isn't really related to Tiger Star at all, but I still like the idea of Lion Blaze carrying some of those signature Tiger Star looks to make Lion Blaze a little bit of a red herring. While Holly Leaf and Jay Feather look quite a bit more like their real parents, Lion Blaze looks more like Bramble Star sheerly by accident. I knew a lot of people would be drawing Lion Blaze in his prime for this week's Warrior of the Week, so I opted to go with middle-aged Lion Blaze. Aw yeah! <laughs> this is Dad Lion Blaze, and he's even got a bit of a dad stash going on. He's, a, he's starting to get a bit scruffy, and the fur on top of his head doesn't swoop up anymore. Instead, it just kind of hangs forward. <laughs> I did change Lion Blaze's colors just a tad since I last drew him, saturating his colors just a bit because the previous colors were really washed out. I like this a lot better. And there you have it! So many Tiger Stars and Tiger Star related warriors! Designing all of these cats that are supposed to be looking similar to each other is a lot of fun because you still need to find a way to make them all look distinct. Hopefully I accomplished that. If you're one of my patrons, be sure to go to my Patreon page and vote on what you would like to see me draw next. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and remember to please stay inspired. <laughs>